Welcome everybody to our supplier diversification webinar. Um, this will be an hour session. Um, we've got a great selection of speakers for you. And I'm just going to advance to the agenda. So there'll be myself, there'll be Bob, head of um, UK 5G, uh, talking about a variety of things to do with supplier diversification and the network. Uh, and then we're speaking to Scott uh, Bailey, Deputy Director of Telecoms and Diversification at DCMS. We also have a video from Matt Warman as well, introducing the strategy behind all of this. We then at 10.30 go into Simon Saunders, uh, and Director of Emerging and Online Technology at Ofcom, and Joe Butler, CTO, Digital Catapult, uh, talking about uh, the Sonic Lab that they have there. And then we've got space for Q&A, and as Anita announced, um, there is a Q&A box. We'd appreciate your, all your Q&As, questions in there if you have any, uh, and we've given a good amount of time for that. So without further ado, we're running a little bit behind. We've got uh, around about 100 people online with us today. So thanks for joining. And uh, we hope the session is useful for you. Um, I'm just going to click out of this and go into the video straight away from uh, Matt Woman MP. So just two seconds. Here we go, share my screen again. Hello, and I'm delighted to welcome Thanks to Bob and the team for inviting me to say a few words on our recently published diversification strategy. The next generation of mobile technology is revolutionizing how we live, work, and connect with loved ones, colleagues, and indeed with the world. This has never been more true than during the current pandemic. COVID-19 has highlighted that digital infrastructure, connectivity, and inclusion is critical to ensuring everyone can stay connected. During lockdown, classrooms moved online, many people began working from home, and families stayed connected through a variety of digital technologies. Our telecoms providers have worked tirelessly to ensure that we stay connected, but there is more we can and must do to build world-class digital infrastructure that ensures no one gets left behind. We want the majority of the UK population to be covered by a 5G signal by 2027 so that the entire country can benefit from its social and economic advantages. But to make this happen, we must ensure that we are confident in the security and resilience of our networks both now and in the future. That's why we've published our diversification strategy and are focusing on three key strands. Firstly, supporting incumbent suppliers to ensure their continued presence in the UK market. Secondly, attracting new suppliers in order to build choice and resilience across UK networks. And thirdly, accelerating the development and adoption of open and interoperable technologies as standard, building competition, innovation and diversity across the market. The strategy sets out a targeted plan to achieve all three so that we are never again dependent on a small number of suppliers. It's backed by an initial £250 million to begin to implement priority measures. And there will be opportunities for UK business and economic growth across each of these three strands. Of course, we know that the UK cannot solve this problem alone. This is a challenging global issue, and the strategy sets out our plan to build a global coalition to find a lasting and sustainable solution to the problem. We're working closely with Five Eyes and other partners around the world to make this happen. And the strategy sits alongside the legislation we have introduced that provides the powers that will enable us to control and, where necessary, exclude the use of high-risk vendors from our networks. Together, they lay the foundations for a world-class telecoms security framework. We also know that governments cannot tackle this issue alone. The Diversification Task Force, chaired by Lord Livingston, was established to provide expert, independent advice as we built our strategy. And we will work with industry, innovators and academia to achieve our shared goals of a more competitive and vibrant telecoms market. UK 5G and its members will play an important role in delivering success. We share the same vision of ensuring that the UK is at the heart of global 5G development and the same commitment to addressing and removing barriers to entry for UK companies. We know this won't be easy, but if we work together, I am confident we will succeed in making the UK a global leader in 5G diversification. Thank you.
Thanks, Matt. Right, and uh, my I forgot to introduce myself. Um, I'm Andy Curtis. I'm Head of Digital Economy and Creative Industries at KTN, and we are a major partner in UK 5G and the delivery of that network. And I'm now going to head uh, pass over to the head of UK 5G, Bob. Let me just pop the slide on screen for you. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, Bob Driver. I, I'm only going to speak for a couple of minutes, really. Um, and uh, Andy, I hope you, everybody can hear me. Um, and I think we need to go on to the main agenda item, really, which is Scott Bailey talking in detail about the, the strategy that uh, Minister Matt Warman was talking about. Just a, a short note about UK 5G. We started in 2018. We're an innovation network <clears throat> funded by the DCMS. Uh, delivered by Cambridge Wireless, um, the KTN and the TM Forum. And uh, we've grown now to 4,000 people that are involved in the network and 1,500 organisations. And really what we're there to do is to develop an ecosystem around 5G and to promote UK capability internationally. Um, increasingly, that means we're focusing on the demand side of 5G looking at uh, industries uh, in like manufacturing or creative or wh whatever vertical industry you can think of and looking at the way that that technology can be applied uh, across the board and particularly in private networks. Um, but increasingly, we're also looking at the supply side too. Um, uh, the initiative through this diversification strategy is extremely important and we're very excited about how we can nurture an ecosystem around the supply side too. And one of the things that we've done is develop something called the supplier directory, uh, which currently has 93 companies featured in it against 44 different technology categories. And the idea behind it is that people that maybe in vertical industries, maybe looking to develop a private network, can look at, a, at the supplier directory and find uh, relevant companies that can support their, uh, their activities. Uh, so please sign up to it if you are a supplier and you're listening to this webinar and you haven't done so yet. It's very easy, you just click on the supplier directory and you can sign up. And if you haven't signed up to UK 5G, org do uh, you can do that very easily and you can also get um, our magazine which has just been published um, uh, which is edition four of our innovation briefing that tells you about all the very numerous now projects that uh, are supported by the DCMS across the country that are looking at developing 5g so thanks a lot